So we now jump into the code for the first time. Let's open up Visual Studio Codes or a other editor of your choice. You can even use Notepad if you want, it's entirely up to you. But I'm a big fan of Visual Studio Code and you can get that at code.visualstudio.com. There's other things like Atom, Sublime Text, it's entirely up to you. So. If we look at the different files and folders that we have, we have things like versions, current, and content. All of our work is going to be inside of content and themes. You'll notice that we have a current theme in here, and that's the ghost default theme. So we're gonna start off by defining our own theme folder. I want you to think of a name for your theme. My theme's very creatively going to be called Paul. So that folder is going to be called Paul. So that's the name of my theme, but hopefully you can come up with a better name than that, and then you can hit enter. So to start with, our theme needs three different files. And just to make sure you're in the right directory, ensure that you're inside of this content directory, and then themes, not current content and themes because it can be confusing. Don't select current and then content. Make sure you're in the root content folder. So each theme needs three different files. It needs an index.handlebars file. It needs a post.handlebars file. And it also needs a package.json. We'll look at what all these different files mean later on, but for now, we'll start off at the package.json. So in this lecture, we've created our theme folder and the three files in the next lecture, we'll be looking at package.json.